and welcome to Tomo Club. Tomo Club is a game-based social emotional learning curriculum. Each class becomes an immersive multiplayer game session where students learn essential leadership, collaborative problem solving and emotional intelligence skills. Educators have full control over the game session and can easily set it up for the class. The program is aligned with the CASEL framework and COPPA compliant, making it suitable for students in grade 3 to 12. And it's Tomo Club's game-based approach which provides the most engaging interactive learning experience that students love. Today, we're about to engage in a game from the Tomo Club library called The First Settlers. This game emphasizes skills such as resource management, active listening and collaboration. The game's objective revolves around cooperative island building to build resources like electricity, water, fruits and milk. It's a turn-based game where each player connects various styles on the map to develop resources. Without further delay, let me demonstrate how straightforward it is to set this up. In my role as a moderator, I will open up the game and click on Run Game. Then, I'll enter my username and click on Confirm. Another window will pop up where I'll choose the region. Let's opt for Best and the Build as Moderator for now. Clicking on Connect opens up the option to create a distinct room ID for the classroom based on the number of players and the teams. We can choose up to 4 arenas with 12 players in total, where 3 players are placed in each arena. We can also set the number of spectators. However, for this demo, let's keep it simple. 2 players and 1 arena. Then students follow the same link but join as players. They input their usernames and room number. As they join, you'll see their names appearing on my screen. Okay, I see that Amy's in. We as a moderator also have the ability to choose the time for the round. For now, it'll be a 5 minute round. Ryan's also in. As a moderator, I can easily assign players to different arenas and start the game. Setting up the game as a host takes literally 10 seconds. Now we can see that it's Amy's turn to play and place the tiles on the island. That was excellent! We need to place the turbine on the grey turbine that is there on the map. Let's see if Brian can do that. There you go! That was perfect. Let's see if Amy is able to place it in such a way that they're able to connect the water body to the warehouse. Amazing! And I wonder if Ryan will be able to help out and connect it to the water body. So what they just did is that they strategized to understand where and how the tiles had to be placed to connect the water body to the warehouse. What we can see now is that we've got one resource completed. This means that we're also generating electricity. And that is done by placing the turbines on the great turbines that are there on the island. Well, we also need more fruits and milk on this island. Let's see if we can do that as well. Alright, we've got fruits on this island now. Alright, did you see how connecting 5 grasslands together also produced more milk on this island? What you are also seeing is that after every 15 seconds the points keep getting added up. The reason for that is that we talk about compounding in this particular game. We talk about how investing in certain resources leads to more points. As you can see right now, cows they're producing more points after every 15 seconds compared to just the fruits together. So maybe focusing on creating more clusters of 5 can get us up on the, on the leaderboard. Well, that's about it with this particular game. 
we thank you for joining in and see you next time